Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in Grey Sky Derbyshire. At least it's not snowing. Do you know, it was absolutely lovely yesterday. It was quite quite mild as well, it was 12 degrees. It's February and it's 12 degrees. Sometimes we've had snow at this time of year. So I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. And yes, before anybody says anything, I know you're not supposed to put pink and red together, but I don't care. <laughs> I saw it and I thought, I feel like clashing today. So yeah, I'm a huge Wes Craven fan. You probably guessed this with me. I'm, I'm a huge horror, horror fan. And um, yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> and I haven't worn this t-shirt for a while. And yes, I'm quite aware that I clash, but I don't care. I just felt like clashing today. And here we go. Right, so today we've got an extra special box and this box was actually brought to me through uh, a subscriber because I, a few videos ago I did mention that uh, I was cancelling some of my boxes so that has made way for me to be able to purchase some other boxes that I don't normally buy so I'm buying like one-off boxes from other companies and I left it to you guys to leave me some I can't say it, suggestions uh, for some other companies and this is one of the companies that one of you lovely subscribers did mention and I'm so sorry I've forgotten who it was that did mention it so I am so sorry but thank you I have actually got the box today uh, another subscriber did mention a company called the Spooky Box Club I did subscribe to them, but <laughs> I have unsubscribed to them, and I'll explain why. Um, they did explain on their, um, you know, their about them page that it takes them three months to make a box, which yeah, I totally get. But I expected to to pay your money and then wait three months and then you get your box, but you don't. You pay one month and you pay another month and you pay another month and then you get your boxes. So every month you're paying and you haven't got a box for three months. So I didn't like that idea. I'd rather pay me money and then get a box. That's how I like to work. And they were absolutely marvellous. When I noticed that two payments have come out and they haven't got a box, I'm like, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, I messaged them and straight away, absolutely brilliant customer service. I, I cannot fault them for that. Um, they fully explained uh, what they do and um, you know they fully explained everything they gave me different options I could have other boxes if I wanted they were offering me other boxes that they had got in stock that were previous boxes so I could have had boxes there and then for my money or I could wait until the ones that I had paid for um, or I could have a refund so no quibble no qualms refund straight away for the two uh, you know two parts of the money for the boxes that they'd already taken so if you are interested in going getting to the spooky box club just be aware that your money will go out every single month but you won't get a box until about three months later so you're always like three months behind getting a box so just to be aware of that i didn't know if anyone wants to join that that club so that's why i thought i'd mention it but today we've got an extra special one. Now I hadn't heard of the Hearth Witch, and I can't believe I've never, I've never seen her on YouTube. I can't believe that. I follow so many witches in that on YouTube. I can't believe I've never stumbled across her. But thank you so much for whoever told me about her because I've been watching her and everything. And her, she's got a shop as well. Uh, it's called the Witch's Heart and it's absolutely amazing she sells candles incense altar tools jewelry you name it she sells it and reasonably priced as well and she's uk based because that's what i'm wanting with with me not being monetized at the moment so obviously everything that i'm getting now is out of my own money uh, i'm just sticking to uk based boxes when I do get monetized, I may be lucky enough to be able to buy some of the American boxes, but at the moment I'm just getting the UK boxes. Okay, so with this box, there was an awful lot of noodle doodles in it. As you know, I always open my box and I'm open and honest with you guys. So I had to take out more or less an entire box worth of noodle doodles. So if you get one of these boxes, they are extremely well 
packaged so it's, I'll show you in a minute obviously the box but the box is quite big and it was full of the noodle do doodles and it is obvious I couldn't hide what the items was so I'm honest with you guys I have seen what the items of the box are but I haven't thoroughly read what each item is but some of the items I obviously could see what it was so um, I'd just like to be honest with you guys I have seen most of the items okay so I'm not gonna go well I haven't seen this when obviously I have because I've opened it okay right so yeah uh, I'll pop all the links down below for the uh, for her YouTube channel because she's on YouTube um, Instagram as well I've, I've joined her on Instagram uh, I think it's she on Facebook I'm not certain if she's on Facebook or not uh, but I know YouTube is a main platform but her shop I didn't know about the shop and oh and everything that is in the box I do believe you can buy in her online shop as well so if you I think this um, the box that I've got is a green witch theme and it's the theme because I think the, the buy monthly boxes as in buy as in like every other month not buy it and you know but uh, it's like every other month you get a theme. Um, so this was Green Witch theme. And I do believe you can still buy this box. As of yesterday, I checked. You can, this box is still available. But if you don't want to buy a box, the contents of this box you can buy individually, if that makes sense. Right, let's get to the box. Because that's what you want to know, isn't it? So this box is Wahooge. That's why I haven't been talking whilst holding the box. It's Wahooge. I couldn't believe it when I saw it because I'm like, what have I ordered? I haven't ordered it all. Because uh, I'd, I'd completely forgotten, to be honest. You know, because I get my other boxes and it's like, you roughly know when they're going to arrive. So, yeah, it's a plain box. Uh, on the underneath, I've inked out most of the address. But it does actually say, sender the witch's heart. Uh I just didn't want to have the return address on there. Uh, but yeah, it does say the witch's heart on there. Just to be aware that it is on there, but on the bottom. Okay. Uh, and obviously that's that's my address. I've just inked out but everything else. And it's a great box. You know, if you're wanting, you know, like me, I will save everything. You know, if you're wanting to save a box, you know, for like popping your magical um, tools, you know, keeping your altar items in. This box is going to be amazing for that because I don't know how well I'm showing it on camera, but it is massive. And like I say, this box was full of the little noodle doodles, the ones that I dissolve in the sink. It took, took a while for me to get through them all, you know, dissolving them. Uh, but we got there. But when I open it, you'll understand why I saw what items there were. Right, so this is the Hearth Witches box from her company the witch's heart and it's a theme of green witch so here we go and it was beautifully packed but yeah it's a good job that i do open my boxes because all you could see entire cover of noodle doodles it'd have been like a snowstorm and then this was on the top so i opened it up and it was like that and then it was full of noodle doodles covering everything so you see what i mean now it's obvious what certain items are okay so i'm not gonna say oh i didn't see what that was okay but i didn't get you know i didn't get like that out of its box so i'm just getting get everything out of this huge box these little things you can buy on her site she does a uh, lot of oils and things like that all handmade <laughs> so i'm struggling to reach you so i'm not doing very well at showing you what is actually in it i do apologize it's because it's so big i did see this can i show you there what I mean I, I, I couldn't not say you know oh I've, I've seen certain items and then we've got some paperwork in the bottom right so let me get the paperwork out okay 
so yeah look these were the noodles the box was absolutely full of those but yeah massive box like i say really good box you know for storing your altar items in or even your herbs a really good box i know i'm going on about a box but you understand what i mean don't you and of course we've got the uh, lovely green paper right so yeah i'll put that away so we got the green paper like i say were on top so it really was well well packaged 10 out of 10 for the packaging saving that pop that in the box right so we've got some paperwork with it and uh, we got this little tag i'm not going to show it you because it tells you what's in the box and we have got one two three four five six items for my money which uh, I can't remember exactly how much the box was and I tend not to say on my channel how much the boxes are mainly because you could be watching this video five years in the future and you go oh I'll buy one of those boxes hang on it's £10 dearer now you know what I mean it's, it's, it all varies doesn't it and if you buy it in a different country it varies so if you are interested in the box check it out first and um, you know what I mean and it's not about money these videos it's about the enjoying you know the products so I th I thought what I've got anyway was value for money and we've got this which is a how-to and we've got how to right so it's how to work with each of the ingredients and what to do with the certain items so she's not just giving you the items and they are don't get on with it uh, can you remember, you know, like with which box, how you have that, uh, what to do for the month with your items. It's a bit like that. So it's what to do with each of the items and how to do with it. Yeah. So you've got a list there of all of your items and what to do. On the back, there is a spell to use with conjunction with that. And I will tell you the name of the spell, but I'm not going to hold up the spell uh, purely because... Well, I always encourage you to go out and find your own spells or a lot of these do have copyrights on. But I will tell you the name of the spell so you can just do an internet search and you can find one or make one yourself. And it's a Gaia Progress spell uh, to nurture and grow a fresh start, a new progress within your life. So there you go. Right, so spell and what to do with all your ingredients. I think that's brilliant. And then we've got this. And I did look at this, and this is like an information leaflet, and it tells you about the Witch's Heart Mystery Box, and Green Witchcraft, yeah, that is the theme of this month. So, Green Witchcraft, possibly one of the most popular paths of witchcraft is that of the Green Witch, one who is deeply connected to nature in its many forms. The Green Witch may work with the plants around them, use them within spellcraft, in cooking and spirituality a green which may be connected to the spirits of the land the personification of nature itself or the land rights the and the elements that may reside around them the path of a green witch is a beautiful one and i can only hope the item selected for this box aid your path ah oh, if you want the items to be a surprise stop reading now the witch's heart so yeah so all the items are listed and um, everything about it is on there so a lot of information in two bits of paper which is really really good because sometimes you don't get enough you know and um, right i'm gonna go straight away how amazing is he make, make sure he's right way so he's the green man uh, i do have one similar uh, but it's actually he's made out of pottery and he's on the side of my house well on the back of my house I should say and he's been on there for some time that is beautiful but it's actually like made out of um, looks like a log and it's beautifully carved I mean if you wanted you could actually paint you can actually paint I don't know if you can hear that's the little dog next door that is beautiful and you've got a little hanger there that you can hang up. But you know, if you're wanting that on your altar, that would be an amazing altar piece. 
and you, you know because there's things on there as well you could also pop like your crystals or herb sachets things like that you can pop things on top of there as well that is beautiful that is beautiful I think I'm going to use him as like an ornament uh, rather than something to hang up because um, I haven't got anything like that inside the house and I think it would be nice to have something because I've got something outside it'd be nice to have something inside as well um, that would be beautiful that that is absolutely gorgeous I love wood carvings I l absolutely love it um, near where we live there's a place called Linica Reservoirs if anybody knows it and there's the wood carving like a totem pole thing and I think it's absolutely amazing how people can carve into wood and make them look like animals and things like that it's, it, it amazes me right this I love it I love me a mug I do I do I love me a mug I like it I use um, you know the I think it was was it witch casket we got either witch casket or witch box I apologize the opposite company but you've got the tarot readings one the one that's like shaped like that I use that all the time I do like an unusual shaped mug and I believe it or not I have not got a cauldron shaped mug so yeah I'm going to be using this I love it I love it and if you wanted you can also use this in spellcraft you know you could like use it for your like your candle uh, any candle workings you could put your either rice or salt in there and then burn your candle straight down the middle uh, just be careful on the size of the candle I'm talking about you know like your little tiny spell candles as long as it's nothing that's going to be like touching the sides it's not going to burn it and um, you could use that quite easily to you know impersonate like a proper cauldron if you do not have a cauldron and you, you've got one of these mystery boxes you can use it that way and I do love that and it fits it's nice it's nice in the hand I like it but I have been seeing these you know they've got them all with different logos on haven't they um, but yeah I've always fancied one and now I've got one and it's perhaps it's saying to me what type of witchcraft I should start and follow because <laughs> at the moment I'm um, I'm learning about different um, folk magic from uh, around uh, different traditions and all over the world uh, I'm learning about in America at the moment and it's, it's just amazing how in different countries there's so many different traditions it's just it, it blows my mind I love it I absolutely love it uh, eventually I'll probably settle down and study my own in whatever it is in Derbyshire I, I'm not really certain but uh, yeah it's, I just love learning learning new things uh, yeah don't it, that's the thing with nar with witchcraft don't narrow yourself to just going oh I'm, I'm just a green witch and that's it you just I'm just plants in the land and then you you never learn about other things you know you narrow yourself down so much uh, I like to learn a little bit about everything and then just go off like that what one month I'll be learning about one thing one month I'll be learning about another I always like I think it is the Gemini in me I'm constantly liking to learn new things do new things uh, but yeah I've always got about five books on on the go and it's usually five books about diff completely different things um, and, but that is the beauty of witchcraft isn't it it's so huge that you can do anything and I love that it's it's just amazing you know I absolutely love that that you can be who you are uh, yeah and follow whatever path you choose and yeah I, I, it's absolutely amazing so yeah don't don't narrow yourself just to learning one thing is what I'm trying to say just just go just run free you know just just learn what you want there we go that that's it that's <laughs> that's me it's like this time last year I wasn't learning tarot cards and uh, now I'm really enjoying tarot cards and um, I never thought I would do because I first picked up tarot cards a few years ago and I put them in a drawer and I'm like, I can't get on with these and then all of a sudden I've just started to click with tarot cards because I've always been into scrying, scrying's my thing um, but tarot well, lately I'm just well, really really good there we go, right 
beautiful items here. I've got to show you her. Oh, I can't burn her. I can't burn her. I'm sorry. I, how can you burn that? She is beautiful. I do have one of these. Um, I think it was in one of my boxes that we had. I think that my. I've got a feeling it was either Wonky Cauldron. I always call it Wonky Cauldron. I am so sorry. It's Wonky Broomstick. I've got a feeling it was Wonky Broomstick and. You know where her tummy is you pop your crystal you you know exactly what i'm on about but she is obviously a candle and the spell that i was referring to was a candle spell using her she's too beautiful to do that she's going on my altar next on you know the my goddess side of the altar she's too beautiful no i'm not using her no, no, I'm not using her. <laughs> That's the trouble. You know, when you get candles like that, I can't use them. Um, I've, I've, I've tried my hand at making some candles. and uh, I do make, like, you know, the long taper ones, I can make them okay. Um, but, you know, I've made some owl ones. I made one for Hecate, you know, like little tiny owl ones. And then it gets to the ears and I, I always end up one ears comes out wonking anyway uh, but then I never burn them because I'm like they're too nice so I've got uh, a few of these owls now <laughs> they're too nice to burn is what I'm trying to say too nice to burn so that's why I just deal with plain candles I don't mind burning them but when the the nice pretty ones I can't burn them anyway what have we got here rosemary botanical oil for magical use shake well external use only so I did notice on her site she's got a lot of oils and I love how you can see what you've got you know normally when you get oils and things are normally in the um, like amber coloured jars so you can't quite see what you've got I love that you can see what you've got I love that and don't forget when you've used these uh, I've just recorded a Helen's hint you know, for things like this, you know when you've used them up, don't throw them away or recycle them. Reuse them for the same purpose. Yeah? You know, like we lip balms are usually like this shape. Make your own salves and make your powders. like if They're only the same size. That's what I do. Things like this. Yeah? Yeah. And you know, um, you know when you put your herbs from like Sainsbury's or Tesco's, um, they're nice, they're a bit like that, a little bit bigger than that. Use those instead of, you know, your beautiful corked bottles you get for uh, your spell jars. They cost money. You've already bought your herbs and you've used them up in the jar. Instead of just recycling them, use them. And yeah, it's, there's a lot of space in there, isn't there? Write a petition on a bigger piece of paper and that will take up any negative space that's in there. So don't think, oh my God, I've got to fill it all up with herbs or great big load of salt up there to try and fill the space. Big piece of paper rolled up, that will take up some negative space. See, use what you've got. You don't have to buy brand new all the time. Use what you've got. But yeah, oh, I can't wait to use this. I'm sorry, I'm just showing you the other item. So rosemary oil. I don't actually have the oils I tend to do are I tend to do like I've got I'm, I make like money oils, protection oils, and then like my goddess oils and things like that. And um, I've got the um, oh oil oil incense and is it oil incense and brew book by is it Scott Cunningham? I'm not. I'm wanting to say Scott Cunningham. I could be completely wrong. Um, Although some of his earlier books, I mean, are very outdated with some of his <laughs> wording. But, you know, that's, well, they are, they're outdated, aren't they, to, to put it mildly. Um, that book is an absolute must, you know, for oils and uh, incense. It's, it's, oh, it's, just a, it's just a really good book for putting stuff together, really. You know, it's a recipe book, for want of a better word. Um, it really is a good book for that but yeah I, I mainly do the ones you know with the dropper and uh, but with getting all these uh, subscription boxes I do have a lot of 
oils anyway so it's not very often I make my own oils because I've already got oils uh, especially a lot of candle dressings so mine tend to be like for specific reasons you know like I say like the money oil uh, I do the um, uh, you know the money quick it's like the um, oh god it's one of the like the hoodoo versions you know what you can what you can see on Pinterest one of those versions um, fast fast money thing and it does work I, 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 I'm a lottery winner you know I won £2.40 there we go see but but the other day when I did not use the oil didn't work see see so it'll be interesting to use rosemary oil because I don't think I've actually used rosemary oil on anything because you can use it on your candles, uh, anointing anything and don't forget you know rosemary is highly highly protective so if you're feeling a little bit you know you can use it on your pulse points, your feet, you know if you're just worried and you want an extra protection you can use it on that. Uh, so yeah um, it does say on here where are we, it will say on this little thing uh yeah so tells you on here what to use it for so it's supercharged with potency steeped with rosemary blended with rosemary essential oil allows to be used on candles petition of course you can use on your petitions and also patch test yeah always make sure it's do a patch test before you put any oils on yourself and uh, put oils on yourself um, but yeah, rosemary is a really, really good oil for just about any, any, anything and everything really. It's kind of one of the universal uh, herbs as well. If if you haven't got an ingredient, you can kind of substitute rosemary for everything. It's just a really good friend to have. Uh, right, the next ones, we've got two little powders. I'm going to do two together because it's like the two same thing. So we have nettle powder and orange powder. Now, I don't really work with powders unless you count cinnamon. And I explained the debacle I had with the cinnamon. <laughs> don't put them in your organza bags. <laughs> when I did that with the ground cinnamon and put it straight through a, an organza bag. But these you can pop on, um, you know, your candles. Because obviously if you're uh, anointing a candle in oil and then you put in proper herbs you know the leaves of herbs that is flammable so if you're putting a load of herbs on there boom, it's going to go up you use powders instead and that's why cinnamon is really really great on uh, you know this ground cinnamon is really really used an awful lot as well on uh, on candles you, you see it a lot plus it's really good for quickness it's like quick 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 come on now 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 um but it sticks to everything and these will stick to it as well but I have not used orange and nettle powder so nettle is for protection because you know you, you see when you see like anything that's thorny or um, you know cause nettles you know because it's like it's little well I know it's not thorny to the naked eye but you know what I mean it's it's when it gets you you know you, you know nettle rash and everything uh, it's highly protective nettle, so it's good for shield. Yeah, it says on there shielding and banishing and protection. And orange in is new beginning, abundance and progress. It's also a good one for happiness as well, orange. Uh, I think it's just the colour. I always look at orange and I go, oh, that, it's a happy colour. Um, so yeah, so it'd be interesting to work with these on my candles. Yeah, I mean, I do grind my... Um, eggshells up I have them like normal then a little bit ground and then really really fine ground because I use eggshells a lot uh, in place of salt you know for like outside because I, I don't I don't really like using salt outside because I don't want animals getting into it I don't like I, it's just a thing I've got I don't like salt outside I'd rather use eggshells it's more natural uh, for a protection if, if you're with me um, so yeah I'm interested in using them I'll open one up oh. so that they are full so it's just literally what it says it's just a very very fine powder so again I said mainly for your, your candles you'd use that for I'll see if she's given any other uses for 
So it says ritual powder set. Uh, though many of us will work with plants within Greenwich Craft, only a few will work with with them with all forms. We often have a preference. Perhaps flowers are your forte, or tea is your favourite technique. One, see, uh, people tend to forget that when you have brewing tea, that is like a form of you know herbal witchcraft. It's you put in your herbs, especially if you putting the herbs in yourself in your little infuser fuser you know that is like a form of green witchcraft as well uh so yeah tea exactly it's one of the overlooked forms to work with is powders yeah i think it is more like of a hoodoo um work isn't it a bit more with powders uh, within this box we've included two powders, metal and orange peel. So these powders can be used in many ways. To, you can rub them on the surface of the candle to imbue the energy of the herb uh, without having pieces of plant. There we go. Uh, another useful technique is to add this powder to paper sigils. Yeah, cool. Or written spell work including petitions and spell papers. Uh, as an, a way of adding additional energy to them because yeah, you can like rub it in and things like that if something's got like oil on and then you can rub it in it gives an extra oomph so that's beautiful right so done done that last item i saw this and i'm super excited because i don't know if i've ever shown you guys but i do have a tattoo on my arm of one um, I have a tattoo on my arm be to, because of my dad. Uh, I lost my dad a few years ago to cancer and my mum as well to cancer. So that's to my mum and dad. Uh, Bluebells uh, symbolise one of the last things my dad did. He walked our dogs in the Bluebell woods and he had some Bluebells with him when he was, you know, in hospital. And so Bluebell's like an association with my dad and it's like a remembrance thing and with the forget-me-nots as well. So when I saw the Bluebells, and they are quite a spiritual thing as well, Bluebells as well. And on his book of remembrance, we did have a Bluebell flower um, drawn on as well. So it's like a real special thing that a Bluebell is here. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so it says, Sons of Asgard, grow your own bluebells. Hyacinth non scripta. Uh, I am lucky enough that when I moved into this house, oh crikey, 20, 20 what, 20, 23 years ago now, uh, it did come fully stocked with white bells and just a handful of bluebells. And I have got just one or two pink bells and I, yeah, they are, I've always been my favourite flower. Uh, we are lucky enough to have woods nearby and I can't get in this packet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I absolutely adore them. I absolutely adore them. So I am going to put you on a brief pause because I cannot get in this. I've got, got, got these nails on and I cannot get into them. I'm just going to put you on a pause whilst I get into it. See you in a minute. I'm back. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had to use a steak knife to get in it. <laughs> Ooh, that was well sealed, that. That was very well sealed. So yes, <laughs> no one will get into that one. So yeah, I had to use a steak knife just to cut down it. I'd have been there all day going into that one. So yeah, it's something I hate doing that. I'm sorry I had to pause you. I would, you would, oh, anyway. Do you like my nails anyway? <laughs> so this is the contents. Obviously I haven't opened this beforehand. I should have done, shouldn't I? I should have done. So this is instructions. So we've got a little, I, th I actually just thought we'd just get some bulbs or something. the seeds I thought I don't I thought we get bluebell bulbs so we've got little ah see them that way little black seeds right so in it we've got little oh I thought we've got a few it's optical illusion you know with that so we've got a little pot and then that looks like your like your compost you normally just soak that don't you and then it'll expand and go boom 
and then you've got your seeds and then bluebells. So it tells you everything you need to know there and what to do. Uh, yeah, all of it. So it says anyone wearing a wreath of bluebells will be compelled to speak only the truth. Ah. I'll enjoy reading that. So there's a lot of things about magical properties. I mean, obviously there's growing instructions as well. Uh, but there's magical properties and history and folklore. Uh, but yeah, I love it. And I love seeing my blue, well, my few bluebells and my multitude of white bells. At the moment, my uh, little snowdrops, and my, I've got double snowdrops as well. I've just got carpets and carpets of them. And I've got just a few little, you know, little tete -tete daffodils. They're, they're just showing the little heads. Uh, the rest of the daffodils are up just like that in, in tight leaf. But they're like going, hi, I'm, I'm here. Wave, wave my little heads. Uh, but I, I love this time of year when things are starting to wake up and come alive. It starts to make me feel better because I get really bad seasonal depression. Um, but it does, it starts to make you come out of it more I, I do wish we could hibernate <laughs> so yeah I've absolutely loved this box and thank you to the person I am so sorry who who mentioned it thank you so much for telling me about the half witch and about this subscription box uh, sorry it's not a subscription box it's a one-off uh, box so uh, these aren't subscription box you don't subscribe and you get them every month you just buy it when you see it and first come first served i should have explained that uh so yeah absolutely loved it and i will probably be getting another one in the future if i'm lucky enough to come and get one uh so yeah as of yesterday there were still some for sale so grab one whilst you can if you like these ingredients if not you can still buy the ingredients or ingredients of the box you know me um you can still buy the stuff on her site uh if you Go on, if you can't, if you're having trouble with my links, go on to her YouTube channel, Hearthwitch, go on onto her about bit and then you can click on there and it takes you straight to her shop. That's how I found it. Um, but there you go. So thank you very much for watching. And if you do think of any other subscription boxes or one-off boxes that you think I might enjoy, and they are reasonably priced and UK based, and yeah, let me know. And especially if they are like a YouTuber as well, I'd really like to try that. Obviously, and same theme, like a magical box. You know, I don't want to be doing something that's like a mechanics box or something like that. Uh, same theme, you know, something, so you know me, something that I'm going to really enjoy and something that you would like to see me unbox as well. So yeah, as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. So then you get the little notification to let you know that a new video is available to watch. And yeah, please stay safe and keep your loved ones safe too. And thank you very much for watching. It does really mean the world to me that you do. Pop any comments down below and I'll get in touch with you. And yeah, don't worry about leaving comments. I love reading everybody's comments and I will get back to you eventually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so pop any comments down below. Don't worry, think, oh, you know, I'm leaving too many or should I, should no, I love hearing from you guys and you can also email me as well. Um, you can find my email address on the about me bit. I love hearing emails as well. So yeah, you can message me, email me, whatever. I'm happy. So thank you very much for everybody. I love each and every one of you. So thank you. Uh, so yeah, have a magical day. Bye.